How do you install a new water pipeline under a major river without getting wet? In a feat of engineering ingenuity and construction know-how, the Lake Oswego Tigard Water Partnership has done just that. They installed a new 36-inch water line underneath the Willamette River without any underwater work and minimal impact to riverbanks, water and wildlife. It's called pullback. When a fully welded 3,900-foot steel pipe string is pulled through a hole pre-drilled in soils, gravels, and solid rock under the river. Preparation began in June when the contractor drilled a 12-inch pilot hole under the river using a method called Horizontal Directional Drilling, or HDD. The drilling was conducted simultaneously from both sides of the Willamette, meeting in the middle using a magnetic guidance system. The hole was then gradually enlarged or reamed using specialized cutting equipment. This had to be done in three stages to reach a diameter big enough to accommodate the new pipe. Significant efforts were taken to prevent contamination of the river ecosystem during the process. A steel pipe conductor casing was installed in the first 450 feet of the hole, closest to the surface, where porous gravels could otherwise allow drilling mud to escape. A rubber liner was also installed underneath the entire drill rig job site to capture all soil and fluid to prevent it from entering the Willamette River. While the drilling was taking place, a local company was manufacturing the new pipeline in northwest Portland, loading it in sections onto a barge and floating it to Meldrum Bar Park, where it was welded together to create the full 3,900-foot pipe string. Six cranes were required to elevate and support the pipe as it entered the conductor casing. They worked in a kind of mechanical dance to slowly bring the pipe into position to allow the pullback to occur. After almost six months of prep work, the entire 3,900 feet of new water pipe was pulled back through the hole under the Willamette River in just 12 hours. Installation of the pipe was done without impact to the river and only small temporary footprints for drill rigs and cranes in Meldrum Bar Park and in Mary S. Young Park in West Lynn. Completion of this section of the water line marks a major milestone for the Lake Oswego Tigard Water Partnership project, representing a fluid connection between all of the involved communities. Once the new pipe is connected through both Meldrum Bar Park and along Mapleton Drive in West Lynn, the drilling sites in both communities will be restored. The new water system will last for at least 75 years.